Welcome to the sixth episode of 100% Legit Xpex NCLEX Questions and Answers. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you. A 40 year old male presents to his family physician with drooping eyelids, difficulty chewing and swallowing, and muscle fatigue even on mild exertion. Which agent could be used to diagnose myasthenia gravis in this patient? A. Atropine, B. Atrophonium, C. Pralidoxine, D. Echothiophate. Correct answer equals B. The function of nicotinic receptors in skeletal muscles is diminished in myasthenia gravis due to the development of antibodies to nicotinic receptors, autoimmune disease. Any drug that increases levels of AC in the neuromuscular junction can improve symptoms in myasthenia gravis. Thus, edrophonium. A 60-year-old female who had a cancerous growth in the neck region underwent radiation therapy. Her salivary secretion was reduced due to radiation and she suffers from dry mouth, xerostomia. Which drug would be most useful in treating xerostomia in this patient? A. Acetylcholine, B. Pilocarpine, C. Echothiophate, D. Atropine. Correct answer equals B. Salivary secretion may be enhanced by activating muscarinic receptors in the salivary glands. This can be achieved in theory by using a muscarinic agonist or an anticholinesterase agent. Hence, pilocarpine is a muscarinic agonist administered orally for this purpose. A patient who had received a non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocker, an MB, for skeletal muscle relaxation during surgery is experiencing mild skeletal muscle paralysis after the surgery. Which drug could reverse this effect of NMBs? A. Pilocarpine B. Bethanacol C. Neostigmine D. Atropine Correct answer equals C. Neuromuscular blockers act by blocking nicotinic receptors on the skeletal muscles. Increasing the levels of AC in the neuromuscular junctions can reverse the effects of NMBs. Therefore, neostigmine, a cholinesterase inhibitor, could reverse the effects of NMBs. In Alzheimer's disease there is a deficiency of cholinergic neuronal function in the brain. Theoretically, which strategy is useful in treating symptoms of Alzheimer disease? A. Inhibiting cholinergic receptors in the brain. B. Inhibiting the release of acetylcholine in the brain. C. Inhibiting the acetylcholinesterase enzyme in the brain. Deactivating the acetylcholinesterase enzyme in the brain. Correct answer equals C. Because there is already a deficiency in brain cholinergic function in Alzheimer disease, inhibiting the acetylcholinesterase enzyme helps to increase the levels of AC in the brain and thereby relieve the symptoms of Alzheimer. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Gracias, thank you.